Hey, what's going on? Um, this is just a really quick video about uh, some of the recent changes in uh, AI, specifically in OpenAI's ChatGPT platform and how they might work for education. So for a while now, I've been a plus subscriber for access to GPT-4 and some other things. That's its own thing. I'm not here to suggest it or not, but I will say that if you are a plus subscriber, you get access to a lot of really cool tools and OpenAI has been really good about making those tools more and more available and more and more tools, um, even in the past couple of months since I've been a subscriber. Um, and I've been really focused recently on how do you use a tool like ChatGPT in order to uh, supplement your learning. And so there's a lot of high yield learning strategies and we know what those are. And so I've been keeping this document of using AI to learn and I'll, I'll link it down below. And it gives you different kinds of prompts that you might use for different kinds of purposes. Um, cool, right? And that's kind of where it's been for a while. I've been working on those and just developing those and sharing them with my students, etc. cetera. Um, but this week, uh, ChatGPT announced, a, or OpenAI announced a whole bunch of new things. And one thing they, they, they have made available is what they call GPTs. And uh, GPTs are just agents. And so what an agent is, is it is a customized version of GPT-4. Um, and the way that you customize it is by just basically uh, giving it instructions. And those instructions aren't written in computer code. They're written in, it, they're written in just English. So I, I've taken a lot of these things off this using AI to learn document, and I've tried to put them into a tutor agent that can work through some, some high impact learning strategies that we know about. And so I just put in those instructions and do a couple of things in terms of being able to publish it and give it its own little graphic and so on. And now we have a, an agent. And um, I've just been working on this recently, so I might actually hit the cap, right? You can only use, you can only send for GPT-4 like four, uh, 50 queries in an hour right now, which is fair, right? Uh, yeah, but like, so for instance, I could be like, help me understand how to name chemical compounds. And you'll see the preview on this side. And so it, it says, cool, we'll do that for you. Um, how in-depth do I want it to be, right? So, um, yeah, and so it's gonna give me a bunch of different things. And I'm, I didn't write this, I just wrote directions for what it should be doing here. And so it's looking for this, and let's just say like um, uh, basic guidelines. All right, and so we'll go some basic guidelines. See what it does. Uh, OpenAI is a little slow <laughs> this week because it's been hit with all this stuff. And so, yeah, it's going to give you four options. These options are things that I, I told it what to do, right? These are the main ways in which I've told this tutor agent to work. And so, uh, you know, you got concept explainer and uh, quiz generator and explanation partner and active learning. Um, let's go with like, let's do something really basic here. Let's just go with like concept explainer. No, you know, what? yeah, let's do, let's do quiz generator. So I put in number four to signify quiz generator. I probably could have just said make a quiz or whatever. And so, yeah, when it goes into the quiz generator segment of its instructions, it's going to ask for a couple more questions like what do you want and what level and so on. And so let's go like, uh, I don't know, mixture of both and three questions. Let's go two questions just for demonstration purposes. And let's make it align to general chemistry. Again, I didn't give it these examples or anything. It's just doing that based on the instructions. And so we'll put that in <laughs> and let's see what it does. Perfect, here's a short quiz. Great. What's the correct name for the compound NaCl? and then provide a chemical formula for magnesium oxide. I don't love the fact that it's giving both questions at once, and I will attempt to fix that in a moment. But uh, for the purpose of this, let's just be like, let's just go wrong. Let's say question one is choice A, which it, which it definitely isn't, just to be clear. I am a chemistry teacher. I know that that's not the correct answer. And question two, um, is let's say MG, let's just say MGO. Let's, let's put in the right answer here and let's submit those. Let's 
see what it says. Question one, I chose A. Oh, but the correct answer is, in fact, B. Um, and it tells me why, which is pretty good. And it actually gave me the formula for sodium chlorate too, which is pretty cool. Um, question two, magnesium oxide. I did it correctly. Boom. Uh, do I want more questions? Explore another topic. I could go back and go through another way of using Tutor if I wanted. Uh, but here I'm just going to end the session. And I've given it instructions for what to do at the end of the session. And again, I might hit the, the cap. I've been using it a lot uh, over the last hour to do stuff. So yeah, I, I've told it when you end a session to um, give like a restatement of things that you did and what you know and what you don't and to give you more links to stuff that you might want to use and yeah right on um yeah so there's a couple of changes i want to make right and so i can make those changes by either going into the instructions and configuring them or i can just say like the quiz generator section should only provide users with one question at a time, wait for the answer from the user, and then move on to the next question. Um, let's also, I don't know, I, I could go back and change it later, right? Do I want it to go through all the questions before it tells me what's right and wrong or not? I don't know, but I'm just going to submit that right now. And so what it's going to do is it's going to use this agent called GPT Builder, which is just baked in, right? And you can see it's updating the GPT. And so what it's doing is it's going into those instructions that I wrote, and it is going to change those instructions so that this module does the thing that I want it to do. And so this is pretty remarkable, right? Because I, I, I mean, I'm, a, I'm relatively tech fluent, but um, I could never code something to do this from the ground up. I just don't have the skills. I could spend the time necessary to upskill on that, but that's just not gonna happen in my life. Um, but, you know, this was, I don't know, was this an hour of effort to get to something like this? Maybe it was. Um, it certainly wasn't crazy long. And so the fact that that's going on and is available right now is a pretty remarkable thing. And I would expect that it's going to become a huge deal in a lot of things very, very quickly. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the area below. I'll put links to various things. You can only use these agents right now if you have a plus subscription, so I'm sorry if you don't, but certainly that using AI to learn document has a lot of the same kinds of prompts that I'm using there that you can just put into anything. Um, yeah, all right, enjoy. What a, it's a crazy time to be in education, that's for sure.